Welcome to my NG Plant tutorial. This is my first tutorial for NG Plant on how to use the basics of it. Today we'll be starting by making a simple maple tree design. This can be applied to many other sorts of deciduous trees. Basically trees that change color during the fall and lose the leaves during the winter. But basically we're going to start here. We're going to look at the basic controls. So to control, to rotate, you middle click and drag to pan up down left right you shift middle click and drag so we're going to start out going to this branch right here and we are going to increase the resolution which you see right here we'll increase that I suggest personally that you go and you start at say 30 no this one you want to start at 20 and then 30 resolution here for the cross section parameters. So, this right here, <clears throat> the axis parameters, allows you to bend better on different axes vertically, while the cross section parameters makes it more rounded. Now, we're going to focus here on how to create assets for you know more realistic high detail assets but we'll also go into a little bit of detail about game ready assets as well and this is purely just the basics of ng plant not going to be focusing on anything else really and there's a download link in the description for ng plant which is a free software it was originally created as an add-on for blender but ended up becoming its own thing so right here we're messing with the phototrophism which you mess around with the little red dots, dragging them up or down. In this case, we're gonna. You can also click in the middle in order to add more dots. Like that right there, I did on accident. So let's see here. It's very sensitive. I don't know why it's so sensitive, but if you ever need to, you can double click on the black part of the screen, and you can uh, get a more close-up, detailed version. So let's see here. That looks good to me for a starting branch. This is your main trunk, and you're also going to want to have it taper off to an extra branch off to the side because that's generally how trees work, is that the branches come out of the main trunk, not sticking out like 90 degree angles usually. Not until you start getting to the smaller branches. So this right here is good. Don't need to mess around with the branching yet. And if you want to, you can mess around with the length of variation and such, as well as some axis variation. Axis variation just makes it look more gnarled and more random. And it's important if you're making assets for, say, a video game, to have some randomness, some random uh, values like axis variation, different kinds of variation, allow for you to randomize the trees using seeds here in the general tab. You can increase the seed, and as you can see, that messes around with the tree. We'll go back to this. So now we're going to append branch and do a new branch. And here we got a new branch sticking out. It's a bunch of little branches, but that's what you want. Now we're going to increase the resolution of cross section to 20. I usually go down by 2 go down by five for the different sections so here we got 15 and 20 and now we're going to want to mess around a little bit with the branching before we do a phototrophism so we're going to start limit max I'm going to add the number of branches we want I'll say three for the main bigger branches and as you can see they automatically get smaller the higher up they go we're going to want to use declination to make it so that way it looks more like it's naturally coming out of the tree itself. So you gotta mess around with that a little bit. You can also right click on the black area to reset things to default if you get something too crazy and you want to start over fresh. But I don't believe you can undo that, so... I'm going to do this here. Now we're going to do some revolution angles here, rev angle. When you increase that, and that increases the angle between each individual branch 
when you're looking basically from the top down. So as you can see, now we have 162 degrees between each branch. I would say that looks good. I'm going to go down with the max offset to make the branches go down further. I'm going to take the start rev angle because as you can see at zero here oops. Uh, what do I do here? There we go. Actually I increase that to decrease that to zero. Let's go there. Start rev angle. We can see that this right here is really intersecting so going to take the start rev angle and that's where it starts at. I'm going to move that around a little bit. So it starts 121 degrees from the basic north origin point. And rotation angle, you can do that, but that'll just rotate the the uh, branches around their vertical axis like so. Now we're going to want to do min number, max number. Going to be able to mess with say things like density and variation. If you want to, I would suggest doing that though on smaller branches. <clears throat> you can also do multiplicity if you want to, say, make like a palm tree and you want to have a single stalk, and then you want to have at the top a bunch of leaves coming out of the same level. But I would not do that for this point because it looks too artificial. So we can take that multiplicity back down to 1, and variation of revolution angle, you can do that as well for randomness. And now we can go here, phototrophism, and click, make our branches to how we want them to be. Okay, there we go. That looks decent enough for now. I'm going to append the branch, new branches. And again, we see a bunch of small branches. So, let's go over here. Four, five. And if you just click up the min number, it, it limits, it uh, updates the max number as well. And you want to click the checkbox, the limit max. That'll make it so that way you have the maximum as the limit to how many branches you can have. And when you do randomness and such, then it'll change it around. So we're going <clears> to <throat> start rev angle here. Say 25, revolution angle. And some variation. Usually you want the variation to be fairly moderate so that way it's not too extreme. And now we can do stem models. So we're going to go that to 10 is the resolution. <clears throat> and then a resolution here of and I would say and you can also make this skinnier like so so that way it looks like you have smaller twigs coming out of the stems and obviously if you spend a lot of time on this you can make it something that looks really really nice you can even test later on we'll show you how to test the textures but now we're just going to try and create the base tree now, there's a couple things you could do now at this point. You could append a branch, new branch, make smaller sticks, or say you're making something that requires like a lower poly asset, that, such as a video game, you'll want to do wings, material, double sided, so that way you can see both sides, and you're going to want to increase the width, like so. And then you would basically put a texture on those individual planes. Like so, I'll show you here with material. And maple fall branch. As you can see that makes 
if you had a better texture, obviously, then it would look nicer. But that shows how to make branches in NG Plant that are two-dimensional. So that way you can make it look decent enough, but also work well enough for a game. Now we're going to clear the texture. Just know that NG Plant has some difficulties sometimes with uh, transparencies. I've got it to work sometimes, but it doesn't work all the time. Uh, we're going to do tube, though. <clears throat> so you're doing something for, like, an animation. Something where, you know, you don't need to get the best frame rate out of something possible. You don't need to get 60 frames per second, but, you know, instead, like, 24 frames per second for film, animation, such. I'm going to one tube. In this case, I say, I think we're good to do some multiplicity. So I'd say maybe two. Uh, variation of the density there. And we're going to do an increase. Information. It kind of looks almost like a cactus right now. Really weird cactus, like an alien kind, but I'm going to do some revolution angle. Some variation. Do want to do that? And you're going to want to look at like real life trees, depending on the kind of tree you're making. And I'll do more tutorials on how to do different kinds of trees as well. So here we got this. I would say one more branch, and this one we're going to want to do stem model, and we're going to do quad. As you can see, that puts little squares on it. Now we're going to do material double-sided so that way we can see it on all sides when we're facing it. And we're going to want to increase branching. Increase the min number. But not too high. Revolution angle. Variation. And just kind of mess around with that a little bit. Material. And we'll go here and use maple leaf green, which is a texture I found on the internet. These are all just textures I found on the internet. I should say that. Um, and now at this point, we basically have the tree model fairly done. Um, otherwise, it's mostly just fiddling around with the different things that I've shown you. So, for example, we can... If you want to try and create a better tree, you can put bark textures on there just to see how they'd look. If you have them made for a game or animation, you can apply your textures to the tree. It's not going to be perfectly, you know, designed, but it'll work well enough to get an estimate of what it'll look like in-game. Or an animation engine, like say Blender, or if you use the Skyrim Creation Engine or something like that. So let's see here, we're going to take branch one here. We can see that this one right here sticks out a lot, but doesn't have any of the smaller branches on it. We're going to append branch, and we're going to copy branch. I'm going to copy one, one, one. And you can basically look at these. You can rename them if you want. That's a good idea to do. I currently do not. I'm not renaming them simply because... I want to show you the basics, but <clears throat> it's generally good practice. So you're going to increase minimum offset. Oops. So you're going to go 111-2. One, one, one I'm going to increase minimum offset to raise it up higher. I'm going to want to make it shorter. So that way it matches the length, because basically what it does is it takes the length of the main branch. By default, it makes the second branch half the length. So you can mess around with the like the length if you want to make a larger tree, more detailed tree. But you can also make fine trees at small scales too, and then just scale them up in game or in engine. So we have that. We're going to right click, pen branch, copy branch, one 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 one. Okay, and then finally, pen branch, copy branch, one 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 one. 
so yeah, just to rename something, you can right-click it, click Rename, and give it a new name. As we can see, here's our tree. It's not overly dense, but we could definitely make it denser if we wanted to, say, take this and turn it into smaller branches, or we wanted to add in the planes, like the wings. So for example, I could do new branch here. <coughs> Stem model wings. Double sided. Yeah. To get something transparent, you want to do the transparent button there, it appears. Sometimes I forget certain details like that. So we go here. Transparent. And this is all just rough textures that I found on the internet, so... Like I said, it's a lot better if you have... some custom-made textures that are specifically designed to go on these objects. For NG plant created objects, just to test things. Increase the width. As you can see, then we could have... Branches textured in there, textured there, there, up all through all these branches. Otherwise, that's the basic idea. And that is all. Today, I will show you some other tutorials at a later date. But thank you for watching.